Another application of modulus is called a checksum digit. And the idea is that there's a digit that is the last digit on a US USPS money order that serves as a sort of check for all the other digits in that money order number. So I'll give you an idea of how that works. We're tasked with finding the actual checksum digit in these tracking uh, these money order numbers. Um, so all I have to do is follow this red um, expression. I have to evaluate this expression uh, in the box up here for each of these tracking numbers or identification numbers. So the first one, all I have to do is add up all these digits in the number, those 10 digits. So 7 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 8 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3. We're going to mod that, whatever that number is, 9. Well, if you add all these numbers up, you end up getting 55. So all I have to do is take 55 mod 9. And so if I divide 55 by 9, um, I, uh, 55, 9 goes into 55 six times, and then I'm left with 54, but I have a remainder of 1. Okay, and what I've done just there is I've once again used the, in order to find this answer, I've used the division algorithm. So the reason this is true uh, beca is because 55, whoops, that doesn't look like a 5, 55 is equal to 9 times 6 plus 1. And that's the guy I was looking for, the remainder. All right, so again, we'll do the same thing for all these problems. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, by the way, this is the checksum that would be at the end of the USPS money order identification number so that uh, all you have to do is write a little algorithm as you type in this this uh, identification number. If I mod that number by 9 and don't get back 1, then I know that one of the digits is messed up and I can employ a number of different techniques to try to decide what digit is wrong or smudged or what the smudged digit is. There are other exercises like that. They're kind of fun. All right, the next one, it's done the exact same way. So again, I'm going to use this, this general mod expression to add up all, the, all 10 digits. And let me get red, because that's what we seem to be using to start out. So again, I'm going to say 6 plus 9 plus 6 plus 6 plus all these other numbers. Whatever that sum is, I mod 9. If you work on that, work out that sum, it's 41. And if you think about it, um, 41 goes in, I mean, 9 goes into 41 how many times? Well, it goes in 4 times, right? So I get 36, and I'm left with a remainder of 5. Now, if you don't like doing that in your head, although most of you will, you can always rely on my favorite, the division algorithm. And this is because, well, 45, oh, sorry, that's 41. 41 41 equals 9 times 4 plus 5. Okay, that's how we found that, really. Okay, the others are just as straightforward. I'm not going to go through the addition part here, but if you add all these numbers up, their sum is 47. Again, I have to mod that number 9. And so, let's see. 9 goes into 47 five times with a remainder of 2. So that's how I get 
my checksum digit of 2. And the reason for this, let's use a different color because I've completely gone against my color coding here. Let's use green because we can. Uh, why is this? Because 47 is equal to 9 times 5 plus 2. Okay. And then finally, we're going to change colors all together because I, because I can, once again. Finally, if you, if you add up all the digits here, 10 digits, you're going to get 45. And again, I have to mod that 9. Well, 45 divided by 9 is definitely 5. So uh, I, get, I land right on the number. So I'd, my remainder is 0. And let's think about why that, why that works in terms of... I thought I was supposed to get blue here. Well, it's because... 9 times 5 plus 0 is 45. And that's the use of division algorithm to figure out what your checksum is or to check your modulus. So all of these USPS numbers, I mean uh, tracking numbers, would have a final digit. And let's go ahead and put those on there so you could see what that would look like. And so you've actually done a real uh, well, I don't know what I just did there, but ignore that line. Um, you've actually done a real-life problem um, in identifying the checksum digit for USPS money orders. That's kind of fun.